Hey guys, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be setting up a teepee tent. Stay tuned. Okay guys, what we have here today is a teepee tent. That's right, teepee. Teepee tent. It's from Ozark Trail. I know what everybody's going to Ah, uh, you know, they're supposed to be junk, just like Coleman's, they're junk, and, well, you're hearing that from these guys that go out and they spend five, six hundred dollars on a tent, that's going to do pretty much the same thing this does. I've never had a problem with those Ozark Trail. My favorite used to be um, Coleman, but now it's my second favorite. I like both of them. I've never had a problem with either one of them. And no, I am not being endorsed by either one of these. Or I'm not endorsing them or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm just giving you, you know, this is my preference from what, what I've, you know, I've learned over several, several years of camping. It's always been a Coleman or Ozark Trail. I've never had a problem with any of them. If you take care of them like you're supposed to. We're going to water seal it with Scotch Guard as for tents and stuff. So we're going to use this. <clears throat> I've never used this on a tent, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. Also, guys, you can also um, use actually like a cooking spray, stuff like that will work as well. But I just use that kind of stuff. But yeah, you're going to want to do that. I'm looking at about an hour's worth of daylight now, hour and a half top. So we're going to set this up, but right now let's do an unboxing, all right? Of course, just like any tent, it comes with a carry case. And Ooh, I love the packaging. The packaging is so soothing. Some of you guys might get that. So uh, apparently she does. Monkey's over there. Um, she got some barbecue. Barbecue guy came to my work today. We have an owner's manual. That's where that goes. Alright. So you guys hear that? So I may need I've never set up a TP tent before. I built TPs uh, out of tarps and things like that. I've set up, you know, actually real TPs. Um you know, it would stick great big things, but okay. So here's what we've got here. And by the way, this is what fifty bucks, huh? Yep. What you eating? Ribs and chicken. Corn. Ribs and chicken and corn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, there's the tent itself. Here's the steaks, and these must be the poles. This is one of those things you hang inside. You know, you can put your your things in, and it zips up. So pretty neat. Like I said, the steak. Is that waterproof? And huh? Is that waterproof? And no, it goes on the inside. Oh. So if you waterproof your tent, you shouldn't have to. I was just thinking maybe you could put your cell phones in it. You. you waterproof you should be okay right yeah. just like your house is waterproof mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have to keep in the water I understand what you're saying do and moisture moisture and stuff like that if it is rainy and you feel like it's going to get you're going to get a lot of moisture in the air just you know bring a ziploc baggie or something of that nature okay so all right there's a, a baggie this is to put your your tent poles in. So, I'm going to turn you around here and we're going to set this up together. All of us. We're going to set it up right right about here. Okay guys? So, now, we're going to untie this. I know you can't see me, but I'm untying the tent thingy. Alright. Now, I have this untied. Let's roll it out. At the, the two uh, furthest points is 11 foot by 11 foot. So, 
you can it's seven person which is plenty big enough for me and her but a seven person total now remember they don't add all your gear and stuff like that so if you're looking for a two two people you need at least a four-man tent if you're a single person and you know let's say you're going on a weekend then you might want to consider <coughs> excuse me a two-man tent for the the fact that you know you got to have room for your gear in case it rains if you're just hiking doing an overnighter yeah single person for single person is fine so let's see what we got here all right huh I told you it was big. She didn't think it was going to be very big. Huh? Oh no. If you can fit two... Our bed's queen size, honey. So if you can fit two queen size mattresses in this thing, that gives you an idea about how big it is. So... Now, I'm going to put the stakes in it in the sides here. I'm not going to bore you with that. Just going to stake it down and then I'll get back with you guys. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I'll show you what we did. We didn't film it all. But of course I staked down the sides. Well, the perimeter. Say the stakes. Stake them and down all the way around. And all we did, so there's no pole in the dead center. See? So you're wide open here. So, what we did was, you put these poles together, okay, and then you put them up, one of them stays on, this one stays together here, and this one gets put up in the center. And then down at the bottom, down here, all you do is, when you're ready, get the... Uh, these legs, I don't know how well you can see this. See these legs slide out and you pull them up. It can still go another notch, sorry. See, till that pops out, both of them just like this. Then it can still go another notch to tighten up. So, there. And you can tie your lantern or whatever around here. It's seven foot, nine inches, seven foot, eight inches tall, something like that. It does have four windows and I decided on this one for practicality because it's big enough, but also the height here in Florida. I'm already getting mosquitoes in there, see you guys. Uh, here in Florida, it gets hot, so the height, the higher it is, the better. And we've got the three vents up here, so heat rises, so it'll keep, hopefully at night, most of the heat will be up here, and we, we can have our four windows open. Just like, sorry. Just like this. And then here is the door. Like I said, it's only 50 bucks. What do you want for 50 bucks? I think it's cute. So, and there's the door. Folds back. Just zip her up. So, there's what we're looking at. Give you a whole view. So, we have a TP. We have a TP. Yay! All right, so I'm gonna zip that up and I'm gonna spray it down with this Scotch Guard here. And I'll get back with y'all. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it kind of heavy around the seams. They do have seam sealer too, but I'm gonna spray it kind of heavy there. And then around through here, just give it a light coat until you see it's misty. It looks like that pole needs to be more in the center, but it's okay. First time either one of us has set one of these up, so. Uh, usually it's a tent, but it's kind of cool. Two poles, there's not one in the center. It's awesome. So I'm going to get back with you as soon as I scotch guard this. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so there's our tent. Um, I use the Scotch Guard. All you do is spray the seams, and once you get the seams sprayed real good, just spray it like you're, you're spray painting something. 
That Scotch Guard, I don't know if I like it or not. Went through two cans, they're kind of small, but uh, the last stuff I used, I forget what it was, was regular tent sealer. It was like 10 bucks a can, but it was a big can, and it did a six person tent, uh, which I'm sure would have done that whole thing. It doesn't spray real good. You can, I don't know if you can see some of the, uh, like the wet spots in it there, which they will dry, but the, that's only telling me that it's, it's sealed more in those little areas than the other places. But I think it'll be fine as long as it, you know, keeps dry. You know, I'm good with it, you know, so that, that's the main thing. Um, let me see, tomorrow night, uh, tomorrow we're going to go do a couple things. Go take a little adventure, right? Yeah. And then, uh, uh, tomorrow night, there you are, what are we going to do? Whoops. We're going to do a live feed. A live feed? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to live stream, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're going to yeah, yeah. do a live video, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what are we going to do Halloween? Or around about Halloween time? We're going to do a live feed storytelling kind of thing? Yeah, but where are we going to do it at? Oh, we're going to do it on the boat. Pick up the mics here. Yeah, we're going to do it on the boat? Yes, we are going uh, round about um, Halloween. We're going to take that boat right there, and we're going to go out on the lake, and we're going to go back in Little Cove after dark, huh? Yeah. Late. And we're going to give you guys a phone number. You can call in and stuff, and we're going to tell stories, scary ghost stories, on the boat out in the middle of the lake. Yep. So anyway, guys, Halloween time. It'll be on a weekend, probably a Friday night or maybe possibly Saturday night. Um, so we'll let you know ahead of time what night it's going to be, what time we're going to take our little boat out, and we're going to tell some stories out on the lake in the boat. So back in a little cove. Hopefully it'll be real dark. So, all right. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. There's a little TP. I'll give you an update because I'm going to make some videos tomorrow. I'll give you an update of how it does and everything. We're supposed to get a little rain, maybe, so hopefully if we do, I'll know if that thing, um, if it leaks or not. If it does, I'm just going to take it back and get something else, but anyway, we thought we'd try this because neither one of us has ever owned a teepee. I've slept in a teepee. Have you slept in a teepee? No. She's never, never slept in a teepee. Mm -hmm. Really, it's just a tent, guys, but it's just different. It's neat to go, ha, <laughs> cool, we got a teepee. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We got the, what are those, cadises or something? Crickets. Those are not crickets, honey. Crickets me. Okay. She says they're crickets. They're not. They're like a locust type yeah. type thing. Which yeah, locust. A cricket don't do that. A cricket chirps. But anyhow. So, right guys. Now, because of all the moisture. Mm-hmm. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Catch you on the next one. Shea Bear, I'm gone. Remember, the myth, the man, the legend. Shea Bear. See you guys later. Bye-bye.